All right, so we're back here at uh, the border, right next to the Mexican border. We'll actually see it here in a second. We've got planes flying overhead. And this is urban herping at its best. Uh, we've had some really good days out here. And in a, here in a second, we're gonna check a slightly new spot, just a little bit, a little bit off from uh, the last spot we checked about a week ago. So this is uh, early April, 2022. And uh, we'll check back in if we find anything. Well, we're headed out. We're gonna check out this spot here by the border. Some junk over there. We're gonna go junk flip and see what we can find. Hopefully, some kings or some other things. There's some junk right here already. Go for it. Whoa, a lot of bugs. Bug city. And more bugs. Yep. Okay. That's what it's like junk flipping. I thought he was coming back to his board. He might be. He might be. Oh, there he is. Grab him with tongs. Let's see if he's... No, he's... I can't get it, dude. Oh, there he goes. Uh, Almost. That's alright. Yeah, it's just fun. We got a fire hose here. Let's try to see what we... Two fire hoses. Fire hose. Random junk. Yeah, let's see what we got. Hey. Uh, sweet. Nice. Look at that. Under a fire hose. Mr. Ed flipping a fire hose. <laughs> flipping a cow king. That's the second snake of the day so far. Uh, first one was the Southern Pacific, of course. And this is a pretty kingy spot. Brand new spot. That is the border right behind us. This is a couple of vagrants. I don't know, maybe illegal immigrants. I'm not sure. And then. Uh, there's a cow king deep in shed, but would be really pretty if it wasn't. If it wasn't. Nice. We're going to keep flipping and see what else we can find. All right. Going to release this guy right back where we found him here. See if we can go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Under the fire hose. Right. Oh, he's coming out. Yeah. Well, you want to go for that one again, or? I think he's going under this one. Under this one, maybe there's no. Let's no, see. he just went in here. Okay, let's see. Under this tube. Nothing. He went but into the some... fire hose. Oh, he went in the fire hose. Yes, cool. he just went in right there. That's that's a hibernacular. So tell people what we just found. Uh, burrowing owls. How many? Oh, one flew. That's three. Three burrowing owls. Look over there, Dad. Two more. Oh. Oh, there's three right there. Oh, there comes one. Nice. I can get a video of it. I'm gonna walk up. It's right down in this hole. Oh, there he goes. Cool. Alright, check this out. Here is one of the burrowing owls' burrows. And I believe, I believe this is another one. Oh yeah, right here. And you gotta think about all the animals that use these burrows other than just the burrowing owls. I'm sure there's southern pacifics and gopher snakes, probably king snakes. I saw a ground squirrel here just like right when we got here. The ground squirrels, cool. Or, what? We got some boards? I got my GoPro on. We gotta get a flip clip. <laughs> One, two, three. Anything? Hold up. Nothing? Oh my goodness. Oh, 
Wow, it's got some snails. You sure? There's got to be something on there. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Maybe some snakes in it. Oh, it could be. Man. Wow. Wow. I'm a, I thought we'd be running for snake. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. We just got another king. Hi, under, like under. A lot of yellow. That's like wow. That we might. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's a lot of high yellow. So we are flipping this. You know, can you get a shot of that stuff down there? Mm -hmm. And uh, me and Ian have been flipping a lot of this. <laughs> It just goes on forever. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Ed came over here. Spotted something yellow at the end. A tiny little bit and spotted this guy. Very cool. Awesome. King number two, snake number three. And uh, some burrowing owls. And a bunch of burrowing owls. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at the yellow on that. Guy. Beautiful. Let's get close. Look at that. Wow. Awesome. And we're going to put him back where he was. Yep. Yeah, right, we found a pile of stuff here. Let's see what we can. All right, yeah. right here too, but go ahead if you want. So we found another junk pile here, see if we can come up with anything. They think they might have a snake over there, but we'll check back in if they do or not. But might have been a lizard. Right there is a yeah. slender salamander. I don't know how well you can see it right there. Can you pick him up and I'll put this board? Yeah. You can put him underneath this board. That's what I'm gonna do. Found another pile here. Hopefully we can come up with something. Let's see. Yeah, baby, little one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big. This is a big, pretty big, nice board. You yeah, that was a huge. I said big board. <laughs> yep, <Huge> king. <laughs> nice. Right. You got this. Yeah. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. I'm gonna take him over to Ian, show him first, and then we're gonna. Put him back under his board. Did you put that back, please? Yes, I can. All right. There we go. Now that's the size board that you're looking for for a good snake habitat right there. King snake number three. Let's put him back under his board in a second. Nice. Under a huge board. It's really dry over here. But he had a rat's nest under there with him. Looks like he needs a meal. Very cool. Alright, say goodbye, Mr. King number three. Awesome. Awesome. We'll put that board back down. That's pretty awesome. No. A little too fat. Right here, too. There's boards everywhere. Bummer. Here we go, here we go, this looks good. Oh, that looks so good. It's getting warm, unfortunately. As does that look good? Okay, come on. Last but not least, let's do this. Really? Just a pack rat? Old pack rat? Guys? That is rough. Well, not for sure there'd be something in that one. Oh well, another time. I like, look at the dotted. Oh, uh, yeah. A little bit aberrant. Mm hmm. And guess who caught this? The oh, old guy. The find of the day for sure. Uh huh. And it's pretty docile. Yeah. Well, maybe not as when he first caught it. <laughs> no, nah, he kept trying to get away. But he didn't musk all over you? Not that I smell. That's wow. a good sign. Let me get my phone out here. I always wanted to take my, uh, there's a hummingbird. Hey, hummingbird. Yeah. Wow, it's really close. Yeah. 
Uh, I didn't get that on film. Look in here, it's off, I think. I think I'm getting them on film. Well, guess who found a really nice striped king snake? There's a hummingbird trying to scare us off. <laughs> but this guy just found this guy. Beauty. I'm not getting it very well. Can you turn that way a little bit into holding this on? There we go. Nice. Look at that big striper. That's at least two and a half, maybe three feet. Got a little bit of dotted pattern on its back. <laughs> and he wants to bite now. Yeah, you can take it. <laughs> He's opened his mouth, tried to bite me. I'm just trying to get the dotted pattern. That is cool. Oh, there you go. Oh, don't go under there. Nice. That is king snake number four? Yeah. For the day? This is... Wow, good day. Man, this year has had so much king snake density and nothing else. Yeah. Had so fast. Well, looks like just found two southern pacifics underneath an extremely hot piece of tin. Let's see if they're still there. They had a big hole. Here they are. Probably a male and a female. Hey guys. How's it going? Fancy meeting you here. Well, I think I'm just going to put their piece of tin back and let them get back to doing what they were doing. Yeah, that one's going in. That one's also going to go in. Walking through the weeds. Oh, a baby striper. This is a spot where we've only found bandit previously. And beauty. Nice black. Nice little beauty. Cool. Good job, man. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Nice. Is that number five? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I think five kings for the day. Yeah, yeah. five kings, I think. Yeah, I think so. All right. We've now flipped. I believe five king snakes. And I'm not sure how many Southern Pacifics, but here's another Southern Pacific. Hi, little guy. Hi, little guy. And the little one's right oh, next to him. Oh, there's a Southern he Pacific. He across the little one. Did he? Oh, there's a little one, huh? Yeah. Whoa. That was a big dog. <laughs> See if we can get him out. That's the baby. You hear him? Yeah, he'll see. Oh, there he is. He's curled, he's curled up right here. How is he? Yeah, he's curled up. Let me get my phone out real quick. Okay. That's right. That's a nice yellow. Oh, oh here he is. No. Hang on. Here, here, here. Right, I'm just gonna... I'm pinning him. Hold on. There we go. Oh, just, just let him go. That's, that's cool. Let's see where he's going. Going back under this big board. There he is. Going under in a cup. <laughs> He's in a cup. He literally is in a cup. <laughs> it is in a cup. It's in a cup. That is a fat snake to be in that cup. Pacific in that cup. Right there. Anybody want Southern Pacific in a oh, cup? His we have, we have Southern coming Pacific out. in a cup. <laughs> Carl's Jr. Oh, he's like, <laughs> coming out. Oh, I'm coming out. Alright, All right. that was cool. And yeah, then we got the king. <laughs> Very snaky area. There's some other boards right here. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Nothing. Some holes. Oh, a lot of that. Okay, we got a rat. We heard a rattle when I lifted this. Oh, man. It's hard. Definitely heard it. I don't know. I can't. I definitely heard it by you, Nathan. There it is. There it is. Right there. Yep. There, he is. there we go. Got him. Nice. A little fatty. A little fatty. Not the safe one, but it's a safe. Just a little fat son of a piggy. So, here I am, just flipped this and found this beautiful striper with a huge meal in it. Please don't bite me with your huge meal in you. Wow. Check out that meal. Beauty. Beauty, beauty. Awesome. I have no one near me to uh, show this to. Look, nice little spots on the tail. Nice stripe and huge meal. Very cool. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. That's king snake number six, only the second one that I flipped today. It was a nice little striper with a huge meal in it. I don't know what it just ate, something big, probably a rodent. That's probably gonna be it for today. I got blistering sunburn on the back of my neck and uh, my knees are done and I think I need to turn it in. All right, so we are just about to head out from my place and uh, head back towards the border, which we've been doing a lot lately because there's so much junk to flip. And uh, with my back and my knees, I can't do a lot of rock flipping so far. So we're going towards the boards again. And we're gonna go to a really well-known spot this time, but there's almost endless junk to flip there. And we'll see how it goes. If everybody's cleaned out all the King Snakes and just left Southern Pacific, so we're going to move on to another spot with a bunch of rocks. So, uh, well, we'll hopefully check back in soon. Yeah, there could be a Southern Pacific out. It's a little cold, but still could be. This one. Fancy. There could be some snakes trapped in there. I do have a flashlight. You gotta climb this to get back out, it looks like. Gotta make sure there's no bees. Need a flashlight? This is Chris going inside a basement. Well, it depends on if there's a way to get out. It's a snake might fall in there. Not a whole lot to look under, huh? That board behind you, you already looked under that? Yeah. Well, he tried, folks. Nice. And he made it out alive. Oh, there's some tin. Did you guys flip this tin already? Nope. Tin's good when it's cold. Nice hole. Here's 
there's another piece of tin right over here. And these boards look pretty good too. trails under that one. Not a... Hey Ian! Did you want to see the Southern Pacific? Okay. No, it's a uh, post right over here. Like that, but going the other direction. Yeah, that one. He's right in this vicinity here. I flipped it from here. Oh, I see. There you go. Ah, oh, that wire. He doesn't want it flip. Alright, there you go, folks. A little Southern Pacific. First snake of the day. And we're not going to mess with it too much. It's a little cold outside. It's got itself a nice little warm spot in the sun. First snake of the day. This is a good looking board. Off kind of isolated here and not much else around it. Usually does pretty good. You want to both get under there and see if we can go for it. Man, look at that shed. Roach City. Nice trail. Yeah, that's Southern Pacific shed, I'm sure. But he's not home. Probably in the hole. So, I don't know if you can hear this or not, but me and Chris just found um, Southern Pacific here. Not too big. But it doesn't look like we're going to get a good look at him. If we see anything else, we'll check back in. Oh, carpet. Carpet that's going to fall apart. Could be anything under it. Yeah. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, it does. Man, that was perfect. Uh-huh. Maybe a tiny bit wet. Looks perfect. Yeah. No! King, 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 king. Yes! Nice little... Nice little muskin king. Got a meal in it. Another one with a meal in it. Man, everything we're finding has a meal in it right now. They must be doing really well. Looks like he ate another snake or a big lizard. Anybody else under here? Nope. Put it back. Try to put it back here. Cool. I haven't lifted all this other carpet yet, but I'll get to it here in a second. Uh, get some better shots of this guy. Nice little king. A little striper. Yeah, underneath this carpet right here. I haven't done the rest of this carpet yet. I've done the ones behind me, but not the ones in front of me. Yeah, everything we're finding lately has a meal in it. Look at that. Nice looking. Nice clean stripe. I kind of like the jagged ones though sometimes. It's a little little guy with a big meal. Very cool. Check out the size of that meal. Like a lizard. Yeah. Maybe an alligator lizard or another snake. 
Or even a baby gopher or something. Yeah, me and Chris saw No, they're so bad. Oh, did you? Yeah. So this is the third snake of the day then. I saw his head sticking out of the top back in. And his head was Yeah. So we've seen two Hellerai and this guy. Very cool. We're gonna keep flipping and see what else we can find. We'll check back in later. Make this into some better cover. Well, snake number four is a beauty. Look at this guy, coiled up underneath this hunk of concrete inside a rat's nest. It's probably a rat or two in him. This one also has a meal in it, man. Oh, nice. Was under this right here. He was coiled up in that rat nest right there. Starting to get a little upset, but that's a really pretty one for a San Diego. Nice size too. Yeah, careful, I haven't flipped any of that stuff. There could be Southern Pacifics. Nice. I knew this was a snaky spot over here. I can just feel it. I want to get a little bit of cell phone video. Can you hold in for a second, Dan? He's got a big meal right there. Probably a rat. Here we go. Snake number four. And it was underneath this big piece that Chris is standing on right there where that rat nest is. And there's still some more stuff to flip around here. We should probably flip before we move on. But very cool. See what else we can find. San Diego Cooper Snake. Here, snakey, snakey, snakey. It's cold. Don't know exactly where it went. He's in here somewhere. Southern Pacific in here. I can hear him, but I can't see him. He's under this. I didn't even see him. He sounds decent. <laughs> Warm under there. Southern Pacific, he was out. He went under there when I triggered him. Yeah. Snake number five, at least. Here, see if you can lift that up, and I can get him out. There you go. <laughs> He's okay, Ty. Watch out. He's going. He's under that now. So much junk here. Here, if you can flip this completely up. No way. There he is. Oh yeah, he came back. Here, here. Chris, grab the tongue. There you go. Go for it. Go, 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 go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let's get him out a little further if you can. You're, you're losing your grip. You gotta get kind of underneath him. There you go. There you go. Get him out. Not right. that way. I didn't even really want 
liked him that much. I just wanted to see snake number five. All right, I'm ready to go. Unspecified location. Yes, sir. Yeah, me too. Put him back. Yeah, he's gonna be in the back. This is a baby light night snake on the litter. First thing we lifted. What kind of snake? Night, night snake. Night snake. It's doing it little feisty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where do I strike? Where do I strike? Cool. Where do I strike? I love it when they wind themselves up like that. Uh, yeah. Cool. Well, at least it's a different species for the day. Yeah, Let me six nights. Nice. I like how they look how he wound himself up. Yeah. Perfect little circle. Little African egg eater sauce viper. Yeah, they look just like that, don't they? I like the African egg, egg eaters. But you have to get like quail eggs all the time. He's adorable. He's adorbs. Totes adorbs. <laughs> all right, here he goes. Back to his spot. There's your hole, buddy. Well, I heard somebody yell rattlesnake over here. So this is our fourth Southern Pacific, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, add a new spot here where it's rocks. And we've already found a night snake and a soap pack in, what, 10 minutes? All right, so we left the first spot by the Mexican border and came to another spot and uh, I just heard an old guy yell, look, somebody else got a meal in him. Big meal. Another snake with a meal in it. That is interesting. This guy found, that is snake number seven. Where was it? Right by that big rock. It wasn't under it, it was just by it. Cool. In fact, I moved the rock and then I saw it. That one's kind of pretty. All right, I'm gonna put him back where he was. There you go, little guy. You ever seen a swollen stinger scorpion? What? You ever seen a swollen stinger scorpion? I got one. Yeah. You want to see it? I'll take whatever I can get right now. Yeah, I figured. Pretty good sized one. See the giant lobster like pinchers and the big swollen stinger? They're one of our bigger non desert scorpions. You know, the herpin's bad when we're recording a swollen stinger scorpion. Although they are pretty cool looking. They are not deadly, but they are very painful, is what the uh, literature says. The uh, sting is painful. So I'm gonna avoid that sting. But kinda cool. All right, we are all pooped, and we are headed back to the truck. And uh, this might be the end of this video. We might end up tying this into another video, but we've ended up with, what, seven snakes for the day? But we have not seen one in quite a while. And we have hit a lot of rock piles looking for rosies and rubers. And something is just off today. They're just not under the rocks. But you never know. So... Hopefully we'll check back in. If not, uh, see you next time. Okay, it is April 12th, and uh, we started out by the border and then headed up into kind of south central uh, San Diego County in the mountains, and didn't do so hot there. We had the one king snake, one gopher snake. Uh, Chris saw a California striped racer out on the trail a minute ago. 
towards the end, but we didn't get any footage of that. And there was at least one hell ride we didn't get any footage of. So everything else was hell ride, right? So night what snake. Is, oh, there was one night snake. Yeah, one little night snake that we did get on video. So four species for the day, eight snakes. Must have been four hell ride then. And uh, not too bad, but we'll probably end up tying this in to another video just to have a little more content. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice start to the day right there. That was a quick strike. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't even look good. It's dry under right. there. That's the quickest I flipped a striper in ever. ever. <laughs> How is it? It's like the time when I threw that unspecified location. Like 20 minutes ago. Oh yeah, that was that that was definitely my fastest striper. It was like 5 minutes of getting there. That was cool. That was a quick striper. Alright, so we just got here to the border. Just got to the border. You can see the border fence behind me. And I flipped this junk right behind me here. And right off the bat, little baby striped king. That's number 28 for the year. First snake of the day. Alright, hopefully we'll check back in in a minute. Here we go. Uh, Nathan's got a nice Elf band of king. king. Nathan Edwards, that is. I'm also Nathan. <laughs> um, one other snake today. Pretty, pretty girl. Temperature's about 87 on the ground today. Outside temp's only supposed to get about 72 or 73 today. Nice. Cool. We've got tons of flowers and hopefully a snake under this. Well, see, it's a nice board. I'm hoping for something. We got nothing. These boards do get checked a lot, so I might have to get find something that hasn't been flipped in a while to actually get a king or, or something under it. But we'll try. This is a good spot. Nathan and Ian and the friends are over there. Just don't put the stuff back very well. So we'll see if we get lucky. At least it's Southern Pacific, maybe. This looks kind of good. Let's see what we got. Bummer. Looks really good. Gotta find something that hasn't been flipped in a while. We'll, we'll turn the camera off and see if we can get some more stuff. All right, we found a dirty southern, cold southern Pacific. Right there. Careful, there's nails in a lot of this stuff. Go for it. Right here. Nice red one. Ooh. Yeah, let me get into a more open spot. It's a pretty one. Let's see if, if I can get him to calm down. Yeah, he's pretty. Ready? Yep. That's a big one. Not bad. I like how black it is in the front and then it fades to like a reddish one. Nice. I think I got that flip. Just his tail was sticking out when I flipped the giant plank that I figured nobody had lifted. Alright, so 
Yeah. Second, no, third snake of the day. Oh yeah, thank you, Ian. All right, fourth <laughs> thank snake. you, Ian, for explaining that I'm not recording. So that is the fourth snake of the day because he got a Southern Pacific over there. So let's see. Beautiful little gopher. Well, not too little. Beautiful <laughs> mid-sized gopher. Size. San Diego gopher snake. Awesome. Petuophis catinifer anectens. The rare gopher. <laughs> <laughs> this year, yeah. Normally not at all. But this year. Yep. We got the crew out here with some serious cameras. Tracy's taking tons of pictures of it. She <laughs> loves these things. Got a gopher. Alright. We'll check back in if we find anything else. That's cool. A little decent sized sub adult or maybe adult night snake. Nice. Nice. I guess they missed that board. I guess they did. I, they probably missed that one over there too. I'll go check it out. Putting him on the GoPro here. Yeah. All right, we're gonna yeah, let this guy. I'll get a picture of you with him. Tracy, shots. you want to hold him on? No. You sure? Yep. They're completely harmless. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and they're not very big. <laughs> yeah, that's just great. <laughs> nice. You want to do the honors and put him back under there? Sure. I think it's probably the next because this is a big honor. Yeah, I think so. We'll make a note. It's like a DOR. Still a snake. <clears throat> so we, going into today, we were at 90. We just hit it. The night snake's 100. 100? We were at 94? Yeah. 96, uh, 94, yeah. So how many have we hit, seen today? With the dead one and the night snake, that's... Six? That's six. Oh, nice. So we just hit 100 snakes for the year. Woo! We'll call it the night snake, not the dead snake. Yeah. I turned the board and got hundred. You did. You did. <laughs> you did. It was after the... <laughs> you get a prize. I don't know what it is. These look good right here. Come on. At least a Southern Pacific. Something. Oh. No. Let's see here. Oh, look at that rat. Oh, rat. <laughs> <laughs> Little rat. Stay in there. Yeah, whoop. Oh, there's baby. Baby. Look at that! We got a pink oh. pinky. So the craziest thing just happened. Then She's still so there's there's one little right baby there. right there, and then the mo the mom's under there. I don't know if you Where guys can that? see Where's that. that? Oh, okay, it's right here. Right here. You want to see it? Yeah, ready? I'll just do it slowly. Ready? Look, she has babies. babies. Look at them. Oh my she goodness, just dropped one. So attached. Oh, oh gosh. That's Here crazy. We go. Here we go. Tis crazy. Okay, you okay, can. Let's, let's All right, there we go. There you go. Okay. And there he is. Curled? Yeah. I knew this pile has not been messed with, so. Right there. They're like, eh, we've seen a million of them. Oh, oh no. <laughs> to get anything? No, nothing. He's right here. Okay. Can you grab him out of there? Uh, I don't have my tongs. Yeah, there he is. There's his head right there. Oh, he's a little jumpy guy. Watch out, he's going towards you, Scott. That's number 22, I mean 42 for the year. Yeah, he's underneath this stuff, hang on. What's going on here? Looks like we caught a skink, a little western Coronado skink. Alright, we'll check back in if we find anything else. Bye-bye, skink. Okay, what's going on over here? Of course I had it off. Okay, just put the... Another Southern Pacific, number 43 on the year. 44 if you count the dead one. He is not happy. Yeah, the other one was pretty hot too. Yeah. Well, that means nobody has slipped this stuff in a while. Exactly. Let's see if I can slip this back. Right, which way was it? Uh, this this way? This way. 
He's in the bush right there. Yeah. So careful. Yeah. He's moving back under. Is he going back under? Good. You always figure where you hear him, you're actually hearing the tail, and the head could be right. a couple feet away from that. Yeah. Well, Hutch and I spotted some boards way down in the ravine here. So we're going to head over and check it out. Look like there might be some tin down in the green area as well. Looks like people put boards up to try to go down it on their BMX bikes. Nathan found a striper underneath one of those on a different hill. So, could be promising. We'll see if we can get, get something cool out of these. It's a long worth. It's worth it if you find something and well, sometimes worth it. That was the easy part. Yeah, that was the easy part. <laughs> that was the easy part. Oh. Yes, you're listening to two old 40 plus herpers <laughs> that used to be, could already be at the boards. Oh, but. <laughs> yeah, let's not start talking about the snow uphills. The glory days. <laughs> the glory days. We just came from up there. I can guarantee you these haven't been flipped. Right, let's, let's do one. Ready? Set. Dry little canopy down there. Okay. Board one. Okay, well, let's just flip Go this way. Go. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, alligator lizard skin. That was so disappointing. Uh, there's one more, yeah. Okay, it looks really dry and it looks like it's been moved, but we're gonna give it a shot. Ready? Oh man, maybe a month ago. Yeah, maybe a month ago. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, this tree. That tree. Man. Alright. Nope. Getting away from the bees. You got in the bushes with a camel blind or something. Yeah. Well, we definitely gave it a valiant effort. Hi guys, we're out at another spot today. Uh, just me and Ian out today, and we're out at a spot that's kind of dry. It's actually kind of dry all over the county right now out here, but um, we thought we'd try flipping some rocks instead of going and flipping the boards and junk that we've been doing lately. Hopefully uh, we'll see enough stuff to uh, video out of this. If you're seeing this, we found something at least, and we'll probably tie it into something else, but it is very dry, so our hopes aren't too high. Hopefully we'll find something. Alright, we'll check back out later. Well, me and Ian forgot our GoPros, so no flip clips today, but check this out. This rock right here, you can see that. Pretty cool, good rock. A uh, nice little trail under it, and it had this. I already showed it. Pretty large. Yeah, I'm sure you saw it already. It had this pretty large striper in shed, deep in shed. It looks like a little bit of the shed came off just now. Yeah. It's in the blue. Mm -hmm. The rise. Good sized adult. Nice, clean, crisp stripe. Cool. This is number 30 for the year. Can you? Hopefully we'll check back in with something else soon. Well, we're hoping and it's dry, but we found a name Greek gopher, so. How did we find it? 
Oh, a crow was pecking at it. Probably a hawk or something when we get this guy. Come on! Got us like you did before I started recording. <laughs> Well, it's probably the only thing we're going to see today. <laughs> so, bye. Possible. Yeah, I guess. Say that again? <laughs> I said gopher. I didn't even see it. I was coming over here to grab this piece of bamboo. And this guy was just out <laughs> cruising in this stuff right here. I'm not expecting that. He's healthy too. Good sized gopher snake. San Diego. We haven't struck out. Of course. He's got a kink up there close to his head, a big lump. Oh, yeah. Cool. So he's got something going on up there by his head. See it? Yeah. Very cool. This is the one and only snake we've seen today. Very good sized. San Diego gopher. You guys get that? You got that on video, Dad? Yeah. San Diego gopher snake. One and only snake seen today in the unspecified location. Area. And I'm just gonna let him go right back here into his pile. He's probably gonna disappear pretty quick. You see that tail? Yeah. And now you can't see him. You can see his head. I actually came over here to grab this because I thought, hey, that looks pretty, pretty cool stick. I'm gonna use that as a hiking stick. There he goes. Cool.